Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a video going over what I think are the best overall units within Noob Army Tycoon. And in this video I'm going to go over a couple within each unit type that I think are very, very powerful. Of course these are just my opinions. If you guys disagree, do comment down below what you think. So these are in no particular order. We're just going to go over all of them and let's start with ships. So the first ship I'm going to talk about that I think is very powerful is the Heavy Aircraft Carrier. So the main reason why the heavy aircraft carrier is so strong is because it has a lot of health but of course its main feature is the fact that it spawns in planes. Every aircraft carrier can spawn in one bombing plane and these planes are mainly effective for taking away enemy bullet fire on your incoming ground army and also just doing light runs within the middle of the map. So what is very powerful about these things is like I said, the boats do target the center of the map. So if you're having a massive battle over control of the center of the map, then these are very useful because the planes will constantly attack whatever is in the central con like control area. And also, like I said, the planes are very useful for taking away fire on your ground, ground troops. If the enemy has a ton of elite robot soldiers just shredding your army, a couple of these planes taking that fire away for a few seconds could be what you need in order to take down that army. Now the other boat that I think is incredibly powerful in this game is the Heavy Guided Missile Destroyer. This thing shreds enemy troops. It is amazing. It has really good range. It has really good speed. It has amazing damage. And something that's very powerful about these ships is it can somewhat spawn camp enemy bases. For example, if the enemy is constantly dying and respawning their troops, then this just kind of shreds them right when they come out of their spawn point. It is kind of funny sometimes, you can completely spawn camp newer players with this. This is probably the most difficult boat to unlock in the game, it is very very expensive to get to it, but it is definitely worth it, it shreds everything, it has a ton of kills to deaths for me. So for the air vehicle, there really is only one overall one that you should always be using in my opinion, and that is the heavy gunship plane. This is by far the best air vehicle in the game, comment down below if you disagree, I would love to see what you guys think. But the reason why I say it's the best is it's extremely fast, it has a good fire rate, it just destroys ground troops, and it has a decent amount of health for how fast it is. So of course a lot of your air units in this game do get kind of shredded by end game ground troops just due to the nature of how powerful the infantry units really are later in the game. So you may end up losing a lot of your planes anyways and the heavy gunship plane is definitely a good one to be using if this is what's happening. It has good health, good damage, good speed, good range, good pretty much everything. And for me it is definitely one of the most viable parts of your army. They do a lot of damage. And they're really useful because they can die, respawn, and then within two seconds already be back at the same spot that they died at. I want to move in to the noob infantry. The first one I want to talk about is the insanely broken special forces sniper. In my opinion, this is easily one of the best infantry noobs. Once you get this, you pretty much use this noob until you get the one I'm going to talk about after this. It is amazing, so its speed is great, its health is a little bit low, but it has such high damage and an amazing range that it makes up for all of its low health flaws. You can pretty much shred anything like right out of spawn. For example, when these units are spawning in from your base, it can shoot enemy units in the adjacent diagonal lanes next to your base without any problem. It can farm pretty much any mob from a huge distance. It's the only mob I have 100,000 kills with and it is an amazing unit in your army. So the overall best infantry unit in the game in my opinion is gonna be the Elite Robot Soldier which is also the last one you can unlock. It has really good health, it has really good speed, it has amazing damage, it has a cracked fire rate and not honestly that much less range than the Sniper. So overall the Elite Robot Soldier, there's nothing negative to say about it. It shreds planes, it shreds boats, it shreds tanks, it shreds soldiers, it shreds everything. A really good combination is half robot soldiers, half special forces snipers. With the elite ones and the special forces snipers, you're getting a ton of range covered and it is amazing. You could even do just all out elite robot soldiers and it is an amazing army, really. These are such powerful units. So now we're gonna talk about vehicles. So for vehicles, when I wanna talk about the best ones, there is pretty much two that comes to mind. First, I'm gonna talk about the light railgun tank. The main reason why I'm talking about this is because its speed is amazing for how much damage and health it has. So what's very useful about light railgun tanks is 
as soon as they die, they can recome back to where your army was and respawn and reinforce your forces very, very quickly. And that is honestly an underappreciated aspect of a lot of units. If they have really good speed, that means once they die, they can get back to the battle very fast, which is very, very important to not lose points. And that is its main shining feature. 30 speed is amazing when it's fully upgraded for how much damage it does. So what I think is the overall best tank in the entire game is going to be the railgun tank. It has decent speed, outstanding health, outstanding damage, really good range, and there's really nothing bad about it. It's slightly slow compared to your elite robot soldiers, but it isn't that much slower than them. You don't need necessarily the speed of the light railgun tank. The normal speed of the railgun tank is still really good, but it does a lot more damage and has a lot more health in the light run, so that's why it's still a lot better. I would definitely recommend you use this if you get them. They are so powerful. They do so much explosive damage. They just shred everything that's coming on they're really good at taking out groups of mobs that are like really close together they absolutely shred them and i do think in my opinion this is the best overall tank in the game so now this is where i do confess one thing i do not actually have the heavy railgun tank unlocked because it literally takes four days straight of afk to get it and i haven't really wanted to do that but from what people have told me is that it is slightly worse than the railgun tank due to it being way too slow. Comment down below if you guys have that unit and if you agree with that. And also let me know if it's actually really powerful and I should have included it in this video. So, in my opinion, those are the best overall units in the game. I know I didn't really mention super noobs. I would say the best super noob in the game is the engineer because it does repair your tanks and is very, very powerful. However, I don't think it is really that good. All the super noobs are kind of weak compared to every other class because you only get one of them. But hey, that is just my opinion. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, comment if you disagree with anything, I would love to know your guys' opinion, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!